Good afternoon, good evening and welcome to this Arabic lesson. Today we're going to learn about different Arabic letters which in the English language would be very very similar if not the same but in the Arabic language have a very different sound to them and a different look as well, different letters. We're going to focus on three main letters which are different in Arabic within the same kind of general sound and we're going to go through each one and look at how they are different, okay? I'm coming to you today from Dubai. I'm Arabic Mike. I teach Arabic on YouTube. I make all sorts of videos. You can subscribe down underneath if you want more of these videos. Okay, so let's pick the first letter. So the first letter we're going to look at is T. T comes in two forms. T, which looks like this, which is a T sound. And then we've got T, T which looks like this. Now the difference between these two letters is in the position of the mouth that they come from. So T, T comes from the front of the mouth. T, T, T. Like if you were saying Terry or Timmy or t -t 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 Tinker, something like that at the front of the mouth, you would say T. Now that's, that's this one here with the two dots, like a boat. Now the ta, ta looks totally different, looks like this. And that, that comes from further back in the mouth, so ta, 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 ta. Now if you were to say a word in English like tall, tall or tom, maybe tom, like the name tom, you wouldn't say tum, tum, tummy, but tom. Look out how my mouth changes shape. Tum, tom, tum, tom. Tum, Tom, Tum, Tom. So my mouth is going from here t -t 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 to there, Tom. Another example of two letters which in English are the same but in Arabic aren't is D. So an Arabic del looks like this. Look at the shape of my mouth. D, D, D. But they also have a da, da, da. Now this Arabic letter da is like in English it would be a D. But look at the shape of my mouth. D, da, D, da. De, da. Next up we have a scene. Now the S in English is the same, we use the same letter, it always looks like this, it always looks like an S, S, S. In Arabic there are two kinds of S's, one is a S, scene, and one is a, guess what, it's not a S, but it's a S. So you can have silly, don't be silly, look at the shape of my mouth, don't be silly, silly, silly. <clears throat> or you can say, can you pass me the salt? Look at the shape of my mouth. Silly, salt, silly, salt, silly, salt, silly, salt. Two different shapes of the mouth, same letter. That's the S. We've done the T, T, the D, D. We've done the S and S. Now there's also a Th and a Th. So exactly the same application. D is a soft D. D looks like this. D, D, D. Del. There's also a da, which is exactly the same change of shape in the mouth. You go from a da to a da, and you just change that shape of your mouth. Practice saying it. Practice it over and over again. But when you are learning Arabic, just be aware that these letters are different. You cannot get confused between them, because an Ara to an Arabic speaker, they're like a totally, totally different sound, and they'll really, really tell the difference. So when you're learning the alphabet, don't just think, oh, sa, sa, da, da, ta, ta, they're all the same. Really, really try hard to distinguish in the way you pronounce them between the two, because <clears throat> it will make a whole lot of difference how people understand you and how they respond to your Arabic speaking. Okay, I'm Arabic Mike, I'm in Dubai today, and thank you for coming here to sh share this video with me. Hope you've learned something. You can see other videos to my left and to my right, and you can subscribe right there. Hope to see you all again soon. All the best and ma'asalama.